Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the market crash that happened yesterday and today and give you guys reasons why it happened because I know a lot of you guys are wondering why everything has gone down instead of up. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Also, the link for the Twitch channel will be in the description because I am starting to stream over there. So go follow there and yeah, maybe I would catch you guys in a stream, but let's get started into the video. Um, I actually wanted to start on Footbin today. If we go look at Footbin, uh, go to the popular page. I like to use this as kind of where the market is right now. Um, also, another reason is two SPCs came out today, Rodriguez and Kramerich. Uh, they're not that expensive, right? 21K for Rodriguez. Uh, 46k for Kramerich. This did cause a little bit of market crash, but that is not the main reason. The main reason is there was packs in the store. Um, if we go look on FIFA and we go to the store, there is eight, I believe, eight 25k packs. Um, and yeah, so we have eight 25k packs and eight 15ks. And the difference from this year and last year is when packs came out last year people uh, got more coins and then they went to buy teams right this year it seems like these packs overflowed the market and caused the low rated cards to go down a lot um, if we go look on footpin lower rated cards like Richarlison I bought these cards and I thought they were gonna sell for like 25k they didn't the right they crashed super hard they went down to 12k um, they're gonna rebound a bit but today they went down a lot right Jesus went down a lot he was 60k now he's 50 so all these prices are insane right now right a lot of players are down a bunch Lorente, i was literally flipping at 12 and 11k the other day he's 4k right now uh adama's 19 16k he was like 24 so all these lower tier low rated cards have gone down uh suzoko allen Lucas, Klosterman, Klosterman was like 25k, now he's 12. And the reason for this is because of these packs, right? People open these packs, get these low rated cards, uh, go sell them, and then buy high rated players. Um, and there's more coins on the market this year, so people are already buying meta players that are high rated, right? Uh, if we go look at like Neymar's, Mbappe's, and Ronaldo's, Everything's taking a hit, but those cards have kind of held their price just because people are buying them. Um, I also wanted to look at players that I'm invested in, like Havertz, Van de Beek. Um, if we go look at them, Havertz did go down a bit today, right? I bought I bought some at like 108, and I think he's, he's currently under 110, which is crazy because he is out of packs, right? And this card has continued to go up, right? He's been out of packs for a couple of hours only. Everyone's panic selling him because he's out of packs. Um, and another reason is Weekend League has been postponed to tomorrow. Everyone thought Weekend League was today, so they were going to buy their Weekend League teams today. Um, and if they bought yesterday, then they were ready to play the Weekend League today. And it's postponed to yesterday. So people went crazy and sold their teams. That's why meta cards went down as well. Uh, if we go look, Sané went down even though he's out of packs. Havertz went down even though he's out of packs. Rodrigo went down even though he's out of packs. Uh, Van de Beek went down even though he's out of packs. All these players that are out of packs have gone down because of people panic selling them and the packs on the market, right? So if we go look, I bought, I am invested. I have like 2.5 million coins invested into players right now. And I'm, I'm sitting on them, right? I'm just waiting for him to go up. Um, I have a couple Sanes, a couple Sumedas, a couple Mindies, and then I have like a, a mil, 1.1 mil invested in Van de Beeks, and I'm not worried at all, right? The thing is, everyone panicked today, um, and before Ones to Watch came out, Van de Beek was 17k, and I was selling um, on Lazy Buyers for 20 to 21k, and I, I got like five to 10 sales, right? And I listed once. So that just tells me he does have potential to go there. 
you guys just need to wait. Right? You got to be patient. I know a lot of people were asking, um, Van de Beek's gone down. When should I sell him? Uh, should I sell him now and take the loss? Um, but right now, he is cheaper than I, I bought him for, right? And honestly, I did pick up a lot more because he was like 13K, 14K today. So I went up and picked up probably 10 to 20 more of him at 13, 14K just because that's way too cheap. Um, and I do think he's going to rise throughout this whole week. Um, and if he doesn't, I will take the loss on that, right? I will take the L and learn from my mistake and not do that again. But I really, really believe that he will go up and I'm just going to wait, right? If you guys don't want to wait, um, I would list for lazies. I really wouldn't take the loss right now because it's only been a couple of hours since he's been out of packs. And everyone's selling him because he's out of packs. That's why his price is going down. But I'm telling you, if you guys do want to wait, he will go up, right? That is what I'm counting on. And he was literally selling at 17 to 22K this morning. So in my opinion, I'm just going to wait. If we lose coins, we lose coins, we move. Um, I'm not going to let us. I'm not going to let that set us back, right? Uh, but yeah. That is basically it for this video. It's gonna be a short video today. I just wanted to tell you guys why the market was down. Um, two main reasons, packs and weekend league. Um, and yeah, kind of panic for one swatch team too. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.